The GTA video game series is famous for a very distinctive art style of their covers. But did you know that it's possible to create such an effect in Photoshop? My name is Monika Zagrobelna, and this is how to create a GTA photo effect action in Adobe Photoshop, originally written by Marco Kozukar on Envato Tatsplas. To ensure your end result looks just like mine, check out a couple of things first. Your photo should be in RGB color mode, 8 bits per channel. To check this, go to Image, Mode. For best results, your photo size should be between 1,500 and 3,500 pixels wide high. To check this, go to Image, Image Size. Your photo should be the background layer. If it's not, go to Layer, New, Background from Layer. If you want to use the same image as me, the link is in the description. Before we get started, crop it for a better composition. Create a new layer and name it Temp1. Press Ctrl Alt Shift E to make a screenshot and then go to Image, Adjustments, Shadows Highlights. Set shadows to 10% and highlights to 2%. Create a new layer and name it Temp2. Press Ctrl Alt Shift E again to make a screenshot and go to Filter, Sharpen, Sharpen. Then press Ctrl Alt F to repeat this filter. Change the blend mode of this layer to soft light and then go to Filter, Other, High Pass. Set the radius to 1.5 pixels. Press Ctrl E to merge these two layers. Go to Filter, Stylize, Diffuse and set the mode to Anisotropic. Now go to Edit, Transform, rotate 90 degrees clockwise and then press Ctrl Alt F to repeat the previous filter. Rotate 90 degrees clockwise again and then press Ctrl Alt F to repeat the previous filter again. Now go to Edit, Transform, rotate 180 degrees to rotate the layer back to its original position and then go to Filter, Sharpen, Smart Sharpen. Set the values as shown here. Go to Filter, Noise, Reduce Noise and adjust the values as shown here. Create a new layer and name it Temp3. Press Ctrl Alt Shift E to make a screenshot and then go to Filter, Filter Gallery, Artistic Cutout. Adjust the settings as shown here. Now set the blend mode of this layer to soft light and set the opacity to 56%. Merge both layers with Ctrl E and name this new layer GTA Art Style. Let's create the characteristic stroke now. Select the background layer, hide the GTA Art Style layer and use the Quick Selection tool to select the background. Feel free to use the Shift and Alt buttons to add or remove some areas from the selection. Then press Ctrl Shift I to invert the selection. Now go to Select, Modify, Smooth and set the sample radius to 5 pixels. Then select and show the GTA Art Style layer, create a new layer and name it Subject Stroke. Select the rectangular marquee tool and set the foreground color to black. Right click anywhere inside the canvas and select Stroke. Adjust the settings as shown here, then deselect with Ctrl D. Let's add some adjustments now. Press D to reset the swatches, then add a gradient map adjustment layer and name it Overall Contrast. Change its blend mode to Soft Light and set the opacity to 26%. Create a Levels Adjustment layer and name it Overall Brightness. Adjust its settings. Add a Hue Saturation Adjustment layer and name it Overall Saturation. Change the settings as shown here. Create a Curves Adjustment layer and name it Color Look. Adjust it as shown here. Use the Magic Wand tool to select the outside of the stroke and then add a Brightness Contrast Adjustment layer. 
Name it background brightness. Adjust its settings. And that's all! Now you know how to create your own GTA style portrait. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and thanks for watching!